Hi all, welcome to this Team of the Week 16 predictions. This is one Team of the Week we cannot dress up no matter how hard we try. And I honestly mean that. So if you could smash the likes folks, it would be awesome. Sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jesus a legend. All the links are down below for following the channel and social media links as always. Comment down below who you think might get an inform and going by the thumbnail, these could be your three marquee players for the week that gets most people excited. But we are going to honestly try our hardest to try and make it feel as juiced up as possible. Now I've obviously just kept the full screen as I've done the last couple of weeks just due to time and we'll break through each individual player and as you can see right away the big issue is defenders. That's kind of been my biggest problem um, but we'll see how it plays out this week. So starting off Tom Heaton, 5 saves, clean sheet for Aston Villa and the 1-0 win over Norwich. Strong shout and Kind of goalkeeping wise, he kind of should walk in. Like normally he may not, but due to options this week, I feel he kind of gets the nod. Then Trent Alexander Arnold, one goal, two assists, and a clean sheet. Absolutely just ran riot in the 4 0 win over Leicester and was kind of immense. So hopefully the boosts that they're given, I've given them generally plus one and plus twos, but he may go even higher on the respective boosts. James Tomskin, James Tompkins even, one goal for Crystal Palace. He got very good, consistent performance ratings across the board um, from like, um, BBC Sky, um, etc. And was just unlucky with conceding, really. Um, it was Kelly that caused the mistake. But Tompkins, despite that, um, should get in because he was kind of the main, he was like the best player in the park by a mile. Old Fun, um, Barisic, two assists and man of the match in that game. Uh, McGregor made a penalty save in that game and um, saved, made a few of our saves but he didn't make as many as we'd hope that would have justified maybe him happening and um, as a result we think Barisic is the most likely but McGregor could easily get in over him but I feel Barisic due to the lack of defenders deserves the nod then Eden Visca um, two assists now his match ratings from what I've seen in Turkish media aren't the greatest Demba Bab the most impressive um, but because of the amount of silver that we've gone for, uh, Fisker, you kind of need it to juice up the team of the week. I feel we'll get the nod as a result. So those are two assists and an apps. Like, the guy was just phenomenal. Like, Sorloff was equally impressive. Two goals, one assist in the game. But um, Souza for us, gets the nod because of his goal. And we honestly need that team of the week to be as juiced up as possible with the lack of leagues. Adama Triori, one goal, one assist, man of the match for the, um, well not the man of the match, but he was like, one of the best ratings in the game, I should say. Um, but I would say him or Doherty are most likely, but I'm hoping it's Adama. Adama is what most people want. Like a second form Doherty or a second form Triori, I think we all want second form Triori any day of the week. Um, makes the team look that little bit more juicy. But as we've said, with lack of defenders, don't be surprised if Doherty gets in over um, Adama, but um, some predictors have Doherty, some have Adama, um, and both for um, just covering their backs. Martial, two goals, very impressive performance, played at striker, this probably one of the more desirable cards of the team of the week, kind of walks in really um, as well with the lack of options. I did kind of put Pereira down as an option as well, but I think Martial, just um, the only Manchester United player that will happen. Then Falcao got himself two goals for Galatasaray. Um, Turkish League quit. Most of the bigger teams ran right this week. And Falcao, um, for me, gets an odd. Don't be surprised if Mariano sneaks in, though, for one assist and a clean sheet. Um, but I feel uh, Falcao is the most likely. And you kind of want better ratings rather than... Like, even though, saying that, a Mariano um, is just quite a cheap in form. And also, he's Brazilian, so it gives an alternative to those that didn't get Danilo. Um, if you kind of need a Brazilian right back, then Gomes got himself a hat trick in the 7 0 victory in the Al Hilal game today. He kind of walks in really, and with the lack of games today, it was kind of universal and he's very, very impressive. Hamdala got himself a hat trick last year, he was getting informed left, right, and centre. This year, this will be his first and should be getting a um, well deserved inform. Troy Deeney got himself two goals for Watford, um, who seem to be finding a purple patch of form of late and very impressive performance. F uh, Funes Mori um, could be the card given for the Liga MX final. Uh, you could see Van Gioni potentially as the person who got the winning penalty, who scored to win the um, in penalties. 
but I think Funes Mori because of his first goal in the first leg and also his goal and to force it to extra time uh, could do enough but we'll see how it plays out I think uh, there's going to be a hero card regardless from that game Aramui one goal for Brighton he was the kind of focal point in midfield for them in their victory against Bournemouth kind of he should walk in really but with kind of options thick, um, quite thin this week who knows uh, Junior Ito one goal one assist very impressive in the Belgian league I'd put Rude Vormer down as a potential as well but Ito kind of I think might be the only pro league option this week or as I said you may see like someone like Vormer or Okariki sneaking in Tiba Hutchison walks in with one goal and a hat trick of assists um, kind of universal really Calvert Lewin two goals EPL heavy as expected because of the most um, it's like the only big league playing and it had two sets of fixtures Nikolai Muller is now in Australia former Hamburg and Eintracht Frankfurt player I think it's I'm not sure if it's loan or permanent I'll have to double check but he got two goals at Cam in the 3-2 game he was actually very very impressive I was watching the game the other day I always like to watch the A-League in the morning it's quite a good thing to watch um, some good um, VR decisions in the refereeing is quite hilarious so I think Muller's got a good shout um, Bryce Samba got himself four saves and clean sheet in the game yesterday that in uh, Saturday sorry that kept uh, included a clean sheet sorry um, and was also impressive in the Boxing Day game as well so I think he has a strong shout because he kept two clean sheets um, but somebody's going to get in from Nottingham Forest a feel or a second goalkeeper possibly but I think Bryce Samba has a strong shout uh, Marco Sol pity he's not a goal because this would have just made this so much easier to kind of pick but regardless he, he got himself a hat trick from left wing for Benevento who are running right this season Martin Boyle got himself two goals in the Edinburgh Derby some predictors will include him some will not but I feel uh, he will happen because of the nature of the game and you, I think realistically with SPFL not really having much in terms of options you kind of feel they deserve a shout and um, at least two big um, cards and in all honesty a 97 pace boil I would not knock um, Anderson from Swindon got himself a hat trick from centre mid cam so that will be quite well deserved for EFL and Godin got himself a hat trick I think he always seems to get a hat trick like every year and he always seems to bag an in form um, now plays for Coventry as I said for top possibles you've got Sorloff for two goals one assist Mariano for one goal a clean sheet and CDB for one assist and a clean sheet um, CDB um, seems to have been like a right wing back so I was kind of on the fence about him because I was going to include CDB um, same for like Mariano obviously with like Falcao but um, I wouldn't be surprised if either of them were to get in over say Calvert-Lewin and Falcao respectively Doherty for one goal um, don't be surprised if he potentially gets one over Adama um, Scott Allen for two assists Vormer one goal Redmond one goal in the victory over um, Chelsea Andreas Pereira for one assist, uh, Swift for one goal, same for Hurahain, Kegel Macker, Kavian, all one goal, Jimenez one goal, one assist, um, Watkins of Brentford for two goals, I really had him until very very late, I was like do I include him or do I not, IU for one goal, one assist for Crystal Palace, then Baba for two goals, Okariki, Graben, Durich all for two goals, Okariki, um, or bah very strong shouts in all honesty so do not be surprised if they potentially sneak in or be featured in other predictions Castrati for 5 saves in the clean sheet same for Roberts Davila 1 goal 1 assist in the league uh, Papa Cici I had until very late for 2 goals but because of like Godin, Gomis, Hamdala I feel they get the nod over him and as we said McGregor for 3 saves one of them being a penalty save. I think if McGregor had maybe got say four or five, maybe or even more, if he'd done like a wall like performance like how uh, Fraser Forster did in the League Cup final, then I think McGregor would be a much more confident shout. Sometimes when it's just three saves and one being a penalty save, it makes it a little bit harder to justify. So as you can tell, we have tried our hardest to try and juice this team of the week up as best as we can. Do I expect a high scoring week for myself? Possibly, but at the same time we could see some curveballs, but I cannot see it. It would be kind of stupid that they would throw like curveballs that like do, do not deserve um, an inform, but stranger things have happened. Um, but most of these cards in all honesty are quite um, going to be not just universally picked, 
but very very most of them are very very likely as well but let me know folks in the comments down below is there anyone that we may have missed from the predictions and our top possibles smash like as always sub to the channel if you're new follow me on twitter jeez legend take it easy all thanks for watching and i'll catch you all later